Next up is Nick. Nick sent me quite a lot of footage. Nick, your turns are good, mate, but you're bouncing a lot across the wakes. I'm not sure if you're aware of the fact that your wake crossings are the issue here, but they definitely are. And any turn that goes wrong is purely just a result of the fact that you're still bouncing from having crossed that second wake. So if we can get you slamming through the wakes, maybe doing a little bit of a bounce with your whole body and ski, but much less of a bounce as far as knees absorbing into body and then extending out again, we're gonna get a whole lot more stability across the wakes, much better turns, and as a result of all of that, we're actually gonna have you lose a lot less ground across the wakes themselves. So to achieve all that, I want the same position into the first wake. Just before you hit the trough, your body position is quite good, but you're just obviously holding that position the wrong way. When you're on the ski coming into the first wake, okay, you should be tensed up, but you should not be pushing through your feet. It's very obvious here that you're holding your position by trying to extend your legs, okay? And that will achieve the right position, but the moment the pressure underneath your ski is reduced, which is what happens when you enter the trough, your legs will then successfully extend, put the ski into the base, of the wake and then when you smash into the wakes because you're not tensing you're sort of pushing it's very easy for it to then case the wakes and bounce back up into you and all of that is a whole heap of movement with very little energy put through the ski itself which doesn't really result in much across course speed so to fix all that when you're coming into that first wake instead of standing there and holding that position by pushing through your feet you need to stand there and hold that position by just tensing up. You should be tensing up so much that you even have the option to lift your toes in the boots. On a lot of elite skiers, if you look at their boots, their toes actually make marks in the top of the boot. Lifting your toes is definitely not a requirement, but just the fact that elite skiers can lift their toes proves that they're not pushing down through their feet. They're just tensing everything up, okay? There's a big difference between pushing and tensing up, okay? If you're tensed up and everything's tight, when the pressure reduces from underneath your ski, your legs won't extend. They'll just hold that same position. And then when you clear the trough and the pressure goes from almost nothing to a whole heap as the wake hits that bottom of the ski, again, the same thing will happen. Your legs won't push into your body. They'll stay exactly where they are. Some people really do struggle with this. And I've noticed that when those people are on the bank, if I ask them to just tense their quads or like tense your whole leg, hammies, quads, calf, they're often quite bad at it, so I feel like it may be something that you need to practice off the water. Just stand there and practice just tensing your body up. You should be able to just all of a sudden turn on every muscle you've got in your body. Just tense it all up and just become rock solid. And you should be able to do that without standing up any taller than what you currently are. If you can't turn on all your muscles in any particular position and use it just to hold that position, we're going to have some struggles in the course. Most activities, you tense a muscle to actually get some movement out of it or apply some pressure. Whereas with skiing, you're tensing these muscles just to hold your current position. You're just tightening everything into your skeleton and holding. 